Is Royal Reward really an app to make easy money from your phone or is it a waste of time? My name is Michael and I love testing different ways to make money online and I came across this app and thought it looked interesting so I decided to give it a go and have then tested it and compared it to the hundreds of other ways to make money online I've tested. And in this Royal Rewards app review, I'll give you an inside look and show both the pros and the cons so you can figure out if this is the right opportunity for you or not. So before I log in and show you how to use it and how much you can earn, let's go over who can join because Royal Rewards is available in a lot of different countries. There might be a few it's not available in. I cannot say for sure because they don't have any information about that, but you should be able to download it from a lot of different countries, but only for Google Play. It is not available for iOS devices. That's just something to be aware of. Also, be aware that when you join, then you need to agree to the terms and all of us tend to kind of just quickly jump over that. But in this case, what I notice is that you need to agree that them and their partners will use your data for all kinds of different purposes. And then you can click a list to see the partners. And it is a list of hundreds of different partners. I have no idea what they will use and what kind of data because that I didn't really find clear. So that's just something you need to be aware of because I found that a little bit strange when I saw all these uh, different partners and uh, they were not completely clear about what the data will be used for. So that made me a little bit unsure and that's why I want to mention it here so you can look at this yourself so you know what you're agreeing to if you find it worth it after watching this video. But let me now log in and then you can see if it's even worth considering to download this app. So I have now logged into Royal Rewards and the first thing that I got a little bit confused about was that as soon as I logged in, some kind of spammy ad popped up out of nowhere. And that's a general thing inside here that whenever you just navigate around, suddenly there's just ads popping up and you have to sit there and watch it for like 30 to 60 seconds. And it's in general ads that I consider spammy for apps that I would never download. But anyways, that's just something you have to accept. Let's go over how you can then earn uh, because the ads is just something you have to accept. That that's a part of how they are making money. It's not very user friendly, but that's what they've decided anyway. So uh, let's focus on these earning methods. You can see the different options here. So let's start by this wheel. And then you can see if we click that, all I need to do is to just click the start button and then I will earn some points. I need to click start. And then you can see then in this case, I earned five points there. And then <laughs> this is what I find quite funny is that you can choose to close it and then you won't get the points but a spammy ad will still come up or you can watch and collect and then you will get the points and the same ad will come up. So no matter what you do, you have to watch the ad, <laughs> but uh, one way you don't get the points, the other one you get. So anyways, I'll try to click watch and collect. And then in this case, suddenly the ad doesn't come up. That's what it usually does. It's again, it's a little bit confusing when the ads come and they don't. So we'll just try again. See, then it just popped up. Uh, while it was actually spinning. So this is how it is. It's not very user friendly. I'll just wait till this ad is over and then we can talk more about the other earning opportunities and see if they're more user friendly and also how much these points are worth so you can see if it's worth your time. So I now finally managed to get rid of the ads there. Oh, I thought so anyways, <laughs> you see. Then another spammy ad just pops out. out out of nowhere there and then I have to watch that. I, I just wanted to show you the next earning opportunity. So uh, this is really annoying. This is one of the least user friendly apps I have tested. But anyways, I'll be right back when this ad is over. So let's try to see if we can get to talk to some about some of the other options before another ad will pop up and disturb us. But we see there's this scratch and lucky. It's basically the same. You earn a tiny bit of points for then watching ads. It's basically just an app in these earning methods that wants you to watch ads because that's how they earn and then give you a tiny amount of coins. And we'll talk about the value of these points a little bit later. They also do have the survey options. So this is where you can earn a little bit more. They just have a partner service where you can earn. Uh, right now you see there's none available in my location, but uh, that depends on where you're located. But in my experience, the service here just do not pay well compared to the top paying service sites. I have a video also about the best paid service sites. So I'll leave a link in the top corners. You can check that out if you want to earn by taking surveys. But let's talk about the rewards you can get and the value for these points because that's what it all comes down to. This is annoying, but if you then get really good value for these points, then maybe it'd be worth it. So you need to know the value of that. So let's talk about that next. 
So you can see there's something called rewards. So if I click that, then you can see the different rewards that are available. And this might vary from country to country. I cannot say that for sure. That's often how it is. But anyways, you can see the payout threshold is only $5 for PayPal. So it's not a high payout threshold, but I would need to earn 7,000 points to get $5. This is a lot of ads you have to watch because you see the maximum I could get for one of them there for this spin the wheel, for example, was 30 points, right? So you can see there's a lot that you need because many of them will give you way less, many of these earning methods. And then there's just ads popping up whenever you walk around or use the app or something like that. So the thing is that the amount you get for your ads is realistic compared to what you get for sites that actually attempt to pay. So uh, based on that, I would say it's not one of these like apps that just promise like hundreds of dollars easily by watching spammy ads. So it actually seems like you can get paid. There's not like warnings like that, but it's just really bad value for your time, in my opinion. So to sum it all up, Royal Rewards is a way to earn by taking service and basically watching ads. They say that you can watch by, for example, spinning wheels and doing other things, but it's basically just watching ads that pop up and the ads pop up a lot, even when you do not click anything where you want the ads. So, you know, if you don't find that annoying, personally, I find it an extremely annoying app and not very user friendly because of all these extra pop up ads and because of the very low value you get for your time. But if you don't mind that, then it can be a way to earn, but it's just not very effective compared to many other options. I have tested hundreds of different ways to earn and I can say right away that after having tested it, I will be deleting it because it's just not one that I find worth my time because I just prefer focusing on the options that pay more. And if you want to know more about my top recommended options, I will leave a link below to a list I have of the top recommended survey and get paid to sites in different countries. So then you can check that out and find the best ones in your country. But no matter what, I hope this video helped you. And if it did, then make sure to hit the like button. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out next time. I release a video with tips and tricks about different ways to make money online.